What's up fellow fish tankers out there, Zach here bringing you a new video. Today I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm going to be talking about my stingray and where he's from and all that good stuff. And how to take care of him. Um, check him out right here. He is a reticulated stingray. Um, when you go to the store they're labeled as a teacup stingray. That's just because um, he was uh, unidentified when he was a juvie when he was caught. So just don't just because it says teacup stingray doesn't mean that they're going to be small. Um, his max size from his whole disc size when he's adult is going to be 14 inches across, and uh, max length being 30 inches from his tip to his tail. You can check him out here. So he like swimming around. Um, no, they're from the Mag Magdalena and Atrato rivers of Colombia. Um, he is in the he's a male. And you see behind his tail, right there, this is like a little fin. That's where he walks on. They're called claspers, and males have claspers. Sharks also have these. So that's one. That's the way to sex them right there. Is to tell if they have those two little, looks like two little fins at the bottom. You pretty much you can see him. He kind of walk, he kind of walks on them. But um, yeah, when when you get him at the store, they're um, they're prone to being neglected just because they're not like the more expensive kind. I paid seventy dollars for them, so you gotta be real careful. Um, when you buy them at the store, make sure that they're eaten. You know, ask them to drop a few uh, blood worms or anything in the tank for them. And you know, them being neglected during shipment and stuff, you know, they're real um, prone to getting parasites and diseases, and it's not looking good. I really, I really didn't know anything about them when I got them. I really didn't do any research. It's kind of an impulse buy, or whatever. But you know, I've trusted myself. You know, taking care of species, you know, fish, and I feel like I'm a uh, pretty good at what I do now. I, I've had, I've had trust. I'm, I trusted myself that I could take care of him because I really did not want him to die at all. You know, that's really messed up. Getting fish imported across, across the world, and end up dying when they could have lived out, could lived out their life where they were supposed to live <laughs> so yeah this is something he likes to do he likes to go up here and play in the bubbles of the top of the glass that's why I got I put this net up there so he doesn't get out flop out or something you know but yeah um, so they're real finicky eaters when they're when I got them I only could feed them uh, black worms that's all he would eat um, black worms not my favorite thing to feed fish you know they have a lot of parasites and I found some few like a few flukes or something in there, or um, leeches I find in the black worms at my pet store. So you gotta be real careful when uh, buying those. You gotta clean them every day. You know that just really becomes to be a hassle. So what I did was I just got a I got a plate. This is a regular old um, kitchen plate, and I cleaned it up, made sure there was no soap in there, whatever. I had to clean, rinse it off. And I put it down here in the sand, and I put his black worms on there. I t trained him to know that the plate, I conditioned him to know that the plate is where his food's at. So after like a week or so of him eating off the plate, his black worms, I started putting, uh, cutting up earthworms and putting those in there. Then he started taking those, and now he's actually on earthworms now, which I'm very happy about. And my next, I'm probably going to start doing it next week, is but, uh, Weaning him on, weaning him off the earthworms onto frozen shrimp, because you know earthworms, those are hard to come by. <laughs> Sometimes I hate going out and having to dig those up, but you know it is cheap because they can be free. Or, you know, this past this past week I bought some fishing worms, and just some king crawlers or something, not the ones that are green, but the natural looking ones. But yeah, that's what's going on with him. Um, and eventually when he gets bigger or when we move back down to um, my my city at Canal Winchester and I'm going to get his, get him his own tank right now because he's sharing it with quite a few different fish but yeah they have to have really really clean water you know, great filtration um, I got the FX5 on here this, this is a 125 and that FX5 is rated for a 400 gallon tank you know, I also have the plants in here, as you can see. 
these help out a lot keeping the the water nice and clean um, but these stingrays they do have barbs um, I was checking them out the other day me and my fiance and we seen that he has two barbs on his tail so if, if you do get if you do have a stingray and you get stung by it you know you gotta go get medical attention because those barbs they break up in tiny pieces and you can get an infection really easily um, but if you do get stung they've read that you gotta take your hand and put it under hot water or something like that but I'm gonna feed him right now so you guys get a get a look at what he does I got some some earthworms over here so he'll come he'll come out and tear these up real quick once he f smells it during the water Sorry about this, guys. He'll find them in a minute and get some more of these out here. And also, another thing is when you are buying them at the store, you'll see him. He comes out, but on the back of his tail, behind his tail, is is where you look to see if he's been eaten because it, it rises. Their stomach is right by the tip, by the base of their tail. So he's about to he's gonna smell the worms pretty soon. He's gonna shoot over here. He's just over there chilling right now. <laughs> but yeah guys. So yeah, I'm gonna have to up, upgrade his tank because their their footprints, you know, when they grow they get huge, so it's gonna be about a seven, about a twenty. 72 by 30 inch tank. It's giving him plenty of space to, to swim around and enjoy himself. Um, he handles himself pretty good. And I got a Fahaka puffer in this tank, and he doesn't seem to mess with him. But here he comes. Look at him. I love the way he swims and surfs. He's about to go get these earthworms right now. Check him out. He's about to come over here and wrestle him once he gets on top of one. But yep, the base of his tail, right about right there, it's really flat. So when you're in the pet store looking for him, you know if this real thin, sunken in, you know he's not healthy. So you want to stay away from that one. But yep, he said he loves eating earthworms now. So that's his that's his that's his staple. That's what he's been eating for like for the past two months. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, definitely, definitely a cool species of sting right here. You know, that's my first species. Um, I really enjoy it. Fun to watch. Definitely has personality. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Shout out to any new subscribers. Later.